they right from when they joined the club um at under nine levels they the analysis process starts uh, even before then with some of our linkings with the younger clubs we try and um provide analysis to their coaches um just to give them an insight into what it's all about i suppose um but really it's under nine level where then it sort of kicks in video analysis wise we have their games uh, filmed coded um and it's all about perhaps um understanding their roles too much is too much is made sometimes of what a player hasn't got um whilst deficiencies and weaknesses need to be developed it's excluding the top top end elite players there's there's deficiencies in every player but it's all about making sure that your strengths you, you develop you work on you understand how you can use them in matches um and that's sort of the thing we promote at the younger ages is actually your strengths are, are this now this is how you can better use them in the game uh, scenario so that's what we do at the younger ages and you notice as it goes f through further it gets a little bit more in depth we start to talk to them more about their roles and responsibilities about other members of the team's roles and responsibilities um, before we start to then introduce a bit more um, data analysis when you get to sort of the, the under 16s age group um, in which they've got an understanding um, of some of the key demands but a lot of it is driven through the coaches again it's the coaches that and the fitness staff and the sports science staff that that need the information because they're the ones who ultimately again are the, are the decision makers they're the ones that actually decide on what training sessions will be done for how long for the intensities of them um, they're the ones who decide who's playing on week on we on weekends, whether it's down to um, performances or it's player development or it's down to results, whichever it is. So it's it's the coaching staff that are um, the ones that are given more information than the players. The players are just drip fed information to just help them just with little bits and pieces and also aid the transition to the eighteens, twenty ones and first teams in terms of this is now what's actually expected of you. These are the demands placed upon you and this is how presentations work, this is how um, you're supposed to interact, this is how you're supposed to be when sort of coaches are talking to you about performances, um, sh going through videos of the match, going through data and going through the presentations. So it sort of increases as you go through the age groups.